Lindsay. I'm Suzanne Ridgway and welcome back to my channel. We are going to do a three ingredient Dollar Tree dinner today. If you are new, thank you so much for dropping by and checking me out. Thank you to everyone who supports me every day. Welcome aboard all my new subscribers. We're over another milestone, over 800 just barely. And I'd like to get to 820 within the next week or so. So we are doing another five items price pack from the Dollar Tree valued at 625. We are looking for 15 people to jump aboard and subscribe to my channel. If you are new, you must comment you are new down below. If you comment all the time, you must be subscribed and you must be a U.S. resident. When we get to 900, our next milestone, we're going to issue out two more $10 Dollar Tree gift cards. Same rules apply. And when we get to the big thousand, we're going to issue out two $20 Dollar Tree gift cards from the Dollar Tree. These three ingredient dinners are awesome in this struggling economy to reduce your food costs. You don't have to buy them at the Dollar Tree. You can buy them at Aldi or Walmart or whatever is closest to your home. This is just a suggestion to lower your food costs to stretch that dollar further, give you more bang for your buck to save you money. My subscribe guy just popped up. He's asking everyone to go ahead and smash that like button. Don't forget to smash on that subscribe button down below. We are going to make a three ingredient Dollar Tree dinner. I'm going to use a can of the chicken tamales, their stir fry blend, and their Hungry Jack potato flakes. And we're going to do it up on a frying pan. First thing we're going to do is prep the chicken and chilies. I like to drain the can completely and remove the wraps and chop them up into bite sized pieces. You get 15 ounces for a dollar, 25 now instead of five ounces for a dollar twenty five. Go ahead and remove all the wraps. I use this chicken for all kinds of chicken dishes. If you have a larger family, I would use two cans of the Hormel chicken and chilies. Just do exactly what I'm doing. And I have my knife. When the chicken's chopped, we're going to go over to the frying pan and get the frying pan ready to go. my frying pan right here. Left front burner. I'm going to start it out with eight and then reduce the heat just so I get things going. Always sprinkle about a teaspoon of salt down when using a frying pan so the oils don't splatter in your face. And drizzle about a tablespoon of oil onto your frying pan. And then we're going to drop the chicken. Make sure all that chicken gets in there. Now we're going to take our stir fry vegetables because they're frozen. You can grab whatever you'd like at Dollar Tree. I just grabbed the stir fry because I wanted to do a chicken one. And just break apart the pieces that are stuck together. And this has big chicken pieces in it big broccoli and carrot pieces in it as well. Now we're going to add a quarter cup of water. Add about a quarter cup. And turn the heat up a little higher. And once the pan starts sizzling, we're going to add our spices. Three teaspoons of fresh black cracked pepper. And three teaspoons of garlic, my usual suspects. Let's 
go ahead and add in the black pepper. Three teaspoons and then three teaspoons of the garlic. Why don't you even serve this over a bed of rice? I'm going to do the potato flakes. Broccoli and the green beans and the bell peppers and the carrots are starting to soften up. So we're going to add the potatoes in by Hungry Jack. Let's dump them on in. Then you're going to mix them in with the vegetables. And they're going to cook until they're tender. I'm going to add another quarter cup of water and then we're going to put in the seasoning packet. I reduced the heat to six because now it's sizzling as you can hear. Just sprinkle that packet all over the pan here. And you're going to carefully Mix the cheese in. And we're going to cook all this until the potatoes are tender. Go ahead and add in a little more water, about a quarter of a cup.
Now this doesn't traditionally have a lid. I'm going to turn that down to two and a half. I'm going to cover it with my lid from my Dutch oven. Let's check it. It sounds like it's just about done. Do this to keep low the rest of the time. Make sure I wash the top here. Oh yeah, this is done. Now I'm going to transfer it into a bowl. All those potatoes cook nicely. Turn this all the way off so it can start cooling down. I'm going to transfer this into a bowl and then we're going to serve some. I'm going to get down a bowl. I'm going to serve it in a bowl today. I have a big tablespoon here. This came out perfect. I'm going to have potatoes, broccoli, carrot, pepper pieces, chicken chunks, and a cheesy sauce. Potato chicken au gratin. Three ingredients from Dollar Tree. Now this is one bowl full, and look at it. So this will feed at least five people. And if you wanted to feed six or more, I would double the chicken and use one and a half bags of the vegetable of your choice. Let's go ahead and try this. Cheesy chicken alfredo and vegetables. Not sure what else to title it. I just pulled them out of my freezer and pantry. Everything's blended in nicely. It's going to be hot, so I'll blow on it generously. If your kids don't like vegetables, this is a great way to give it to them in a gratin sauce with the chicken. This is absolutely delicious. And the potatoes came out perfect. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and watch me all the way to the end. I hope you will try this cheesy chicken alfredo and vegetables for one of your dinners. That amount is going to feed a lot of people. I'm going to wrap it up in my Dollar Tree aluminum pans and pop it in the freezer for another night for dinner one night. For a quick heat and eat and this is something that you made that isn't processed if you are new here thank you so much for dropping by and checking me out thank you to everyone who supports me every day we want to get more bang for our buck to stretch that door further to save you money by doing these five and three ingredient dinners from the dollar tree or if you want to buy them at aldi or walmart that is all up to you just keep notice of the cost and what you spend don't forget about the giveaways all the information is down below. Clean my email if you'd like to contact me. My subscribe guy just popped up. He's asking everyone to go ahead and smash that like button. Don't forget to smash on that subscribe word down below. Don't forget to tap on that bell.